Hello, Reef DVM's coming at you here with the beginning stages of setting up our basically our dream reef tank. Um, as you guys have seen probably on our online and our Facebook site, you know we've planned this out. Um, took the old blue painter's tape and figured out where we're cutting into the wall here and and how we're planning it in the living room and where we're cutting up the carpet. This is all going to happen here in the next uh, few weeks as far as cutting into the sheetrock and the carpet and so forth. So I know some of you guys have already seen these photos, but I thought I'd show them again of the layout of where the tank is and stuff. But we have made some pretty good progress. Um, down in Florida, Reef Savvy is in the process right now of building the glass tank um, for upstairs. And uh, they contracted for us a, a custom cabinet maker to help us with the cabinet. Um, certainly could have done it myself, but time frame here on the farm is it's been tight and we've been trying to do this for the last three or four years and it's just not been really working out so anyways here's the uh, actual cabinet um, it is unfinished as of right now um, you can see the canopy there just kind of sitting on the top and it's all made out of oak to match the uh, furniture in the house and then we're gonna have it all stained to match and, and polyurethane haven't quite got that done yet you can see it's got a nice hinge here in the front to open up and then the inside they've got uh, laminated for us which is which is great that's really kind of a nice feature and all the door panels even on the two ends open up so we'll have a lot of good space basically right now the cabinet is done except for we got to do the finish work on it and then down in the basement uh, where we have one of the 55 gallons um, which I'm sure you guys have seen before in our videos this is going to become um, moved about 90 degrees from here about 10 feet and on, a, and on a 90 degree plane and this whole area will open up and we'll be able to put the new custom sump in. Um, the custom sump is being made out, I think, in, uh, let's say, Pittsburgh or Pennsylvania somewhere. A very nice gentleman is out there building that to our design liking. Um, and we'll be putting that in here on a new set of steel shelving. The steel shelving I chose to use holds about 2,000 pounds per shelf. Um, and it's got wire grate. And we're also going to put some wood grating on it. Haven't quite got that set up yet, but the shelving just came the other day. So I'm looking forward to that. These brackets that the tank will sit on, um, I might do a little uh, more welding on just to make sure they're even stronger across between them so we don't get bow out. But uh, everything looks like it's going to be really strong for this, for this uh, probably uh, at least 1,500 pound um, sump tank. And you can see there's the wood and the grating for it there. Uh, I'm going to use one inch um, uh, MDF and, and use some metal grates to put this all together so it's all coming everything is working out really good um, got a design picture from the gentleman making the sump this is what the sump's going to look like uh, 60 inches long uh, 16 by 16 roughly with a couple different sections one obviously for the skimmer one for um, uh, the refugium part that we like and whether or not we put the refugium in or not uh, at least want the space for it quick design of the plumbing um, the plumbing is in the process Obviously, as you know, we already plumbed the automatic water change system in months ago. Um, we have that kind of waiting. And now we're starting to get from Bulk Reef all the other supplies. Uh, the protein skimmer that we wanted, which is a recirculating uh, from Bulk Reef, showed up the other day. The Reef Octopus, we'll go through that later. Oh my gosh, all the Schedule 80 fittings came. Uh, the one and a half inch unions came. The CPEX and the gate valves came. Um, the gray PVC uh, weld on glue came. The check valves came. Uh, we've got some uh, nylon reinforced hose for the protein skimmer and the pumps. Uh, we've got all our um, our unions that go into the tanks. And, of course, um, direct from Japan. Huh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually came out of Bulk Reef Supply. They ordered it in for us. Our Iwaki pumps for our return pumps um, have come, and so are the rubber bases for mounting. So everything is in the process, folks. I appreciate you watching. Again, this is the first of probably going to be a, at least five or six series set of videos as we build this beautiful reef tank. Thanks for watching.